Hello, everyone. Welcome to Zaxdeck. Today, we have a practical tutorial for all the Linux enthusiasts out there. We'll be covering the process of burning an ISO file to a USB drive using a fantastic tool called Etcher. Whether you're installing a new Linux distribution or creating a bootable USB drive, this tutorial will guide you step by step. So, let's dive right in. If you have not yet installed Etcher on your system, first update your system before you download and install it. If you are on a Debian-based system like Ubuntu or Linux Mint, you can run these commands. Go to the official site and download Etcher. Etcher is a user-friendly, open-source tool that makes creating bootable USB drives a breeze. It's available for Linux, Windows, and Mac OS, but today, our focus is on the Linux version. But the process of burning an ISO image is just the same. Select the Linux version 32-bit or 64-bit depending on your computer. It is most likely 64-bit unless your computer is very old. While it is downloading, install the libfuse. If it is not installed, otherwise, you will get an error when you run the application. It is already installed on my system. After the download is complete, right click on the file and go to properties. Give the file some executable permissions. You can now open the application. Now that we have Etcher, let's go ahead and burn an ISO file to a USB drive. Connect your USB drive to your computer and make sure it's empty or that you've backed up any important data. Click on the Flash from File button and navigate to the location of your ISO file. Select the ISO file you want to burn. Click on the Select Target button and choose your USB drive from the list. Be careful not to select the wrong drive, as this process will erase all data on the selected drive. Once you've selected the ISO file in the USB drive, click on the Flash button to start the process. Hetcher will show you a progress bar, and the flashing process may take some time depending on your processor and how big the ISO image is. Hetcher will automatically verify the right process to ensure everything was copied correctly. This step adds an extra layer of assurance that your bootable USB drive is ready to use. When the process is complete, you'll see a success message. Your USB drive is now ready for use. And there you have it. You've successfully learned how to burn an ISO file to a USB drive in Linux using Etcher. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more Linux tutorials, and hit the notification bell to stay updated. Thanks for watching, and happy computing!